Hey guys, Christina here and welcome to our pantry or our food storage. I apologize, the lighting in this room is not very good. We just have one little light up top, but I'm gonna try and show you what it's looking like now. Um, I did share a video when we first set the room up, so this is kind of how it's evolved and it's gonna evolve more, so we're not done. But I did ask on Instagram when I shared I had been reorganizing and people wanted to see what it looked like. So let me show you what it looks like and why it's set up the way it is right now. I'll give you a quick overview. So it is a room in our basement that does not have any windows. And this is the room. So I'm gonna start over here. We were using this cupboard as a storage area. We decided to move the majority of stuff. We still have, hello Mr. Grinch, some Christmas stuff and things in here. But we wanted to make use of this space in here. And so this is actually, we bought another rack. I kind of went back and forth on different racks, ended up just to get the more heavy duty one because it was the right size and I knew it could hold everything. And basically what I have in here, this is our cooler for when we go out and we need it for trips. I have pressure canner, dehydrator, the water bath canner, and then our like household goods are all over here. I wanted to separate them and put them over here. Um, I'm not sure at the bathroom, Toilet paper is going to stay here or not, but this is what we have for right now. We've got our cat food. We've got our uh, extra batteries that we have. We have lots of wipes. All that is in here. We also have water. Water is something we really need to work on. This is all the water we have. One of these is actually empty right now. We definitely need to stock up on water. But by taking the doors off this closet and putting this in here, it just makes so much more space. So then, if you watched the last video, we had a chest freezer. We got a stand-up freezer. I am not a fan of chest freezers at all. I'm so glad to have this stand-up freezer now. So this chest freezer came with the house and we are using it for meat. It is pretty empty right now because meat is very expensive. But this is where we're keeping all of our frozen meat. And then the stand-up one, we're using for everything else. So a little messy right now. We've got cheese. We've got some of the Costco ciabatta buns you can cook yourself. Some freezies, some butter. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got lots of prepped breakfast foods. So there's bagels, or these are pancakes, bagels, waffles, buns, more bagels. And then we have tortillas, hot dog, hamburger buns, some bread we got on clearance. We have English muffins. Oh, they're down here that um, we got on clearance as well super cheap I have some frozen meals I can just take out and eat if we need them if we're in a pinch I have pizza buns I make these and freeze them for when we have like a day out we can just take them and have those for lunch some potato puffs aka tater tots oh yeah there's my ice cream I'm eating right now <laughs> we do have some milk we don't drink a lot of milk so I only keep two usually in the freezer vegetables vegetables fruit so this is all fruit in the bottom here we recently had a bunch of bananas cheap and we went and picked our own strawberries from a nearby farm so we are kind of overflowing in that right now this is our vegetable drawer cauliflower this is um corella or bitter melon peas mixed vegetables corn nope more mixed vegetables under there but yeah, we've got a little bit of extra fruit and veg that just aren't fitting in there right now. And so that's what's in this freezer. So it's not totally full, but it's definitely, it's getting there. And I am so grateful to have a stand-up freezer now. So then, <clears throat> this, um, what's it called? Oh dear, my brain. Shelf, that's the word. This shelf we originally had over here. And I decided to move it here. And this is like our canning stuff. So these jars, except for those ones, are all empty because I'm planning to can soon. And the way I did it is these are all gonna be filled with diced tomatoes, that's the plan. It's not enough for our family for a year, but these are the jars we have. This is what we're starting with. These will be peaches and pears, and that's why I have canned tomatoes there, canned pears, canned peaches, just trying to keep everything together uh, just likewise, I have our canned strawberry jam. <coughs> oh, 
oh, excuse me. And we have one store-bought jam right here. We've got our peanut butter that we currently have. This is better for long-term food storage. It's not long-term in our house. I mean, we go through probably one of these a month, if not more. Um, it was just cheaper last time we went to the store and that's why we got it. We have one Nutella. We have some maple syrup. Then we have canned pumpkin, canned pineapple, one <laughs> little lonely cranberry sauce, lemon juice. Most of this is gonna get used for canning soon. And then up here, these are going to be canned applesauce. Um, again, nowhere near a year's worth for us, which is what we like to can at a time, but this is what we have. So we're going to use it this year. I keep waiting for some flash food apples so I can make applesauce. I think I've only been able to get them once so far and the kids ate all the applesauce right away. So <laughs> I will can some in the fall or September, October when apples are cheaper. And then I have vitamins, band-aids, a few medicines up here. We definitely need to stock up on a few things like Tylenol, both adult and kids, to have in our food storage. So as I was organizing this, I tried to kind of think what makes the most sense to put together. So I decided the next shelf should be more of our kind of, it could last a long time kind of shelf, if that makes sense, in terms of food storage. I put our pasta up top. We do have a vent that will get used sometimes in the winter. So I didn't want anything that was gonna to be too affected by some heat. And these are nice and light up here. So we have our, our KD, which we need to have, lasagna noodles, penne, what is it called? Penne, yeah, it's just penne, isn't it? Rig, rig a tot. Uh, some shells, some egg, eggless yolk, yolkless. <laughs> no yolks, that's what I call it, noodles. We only have two little Mr. Noodles right now. Macaroni noodles or elbow noodles, fettuccine, spaghetti. So we have quite a few noodles. We're good for a while. We have two Alfredo sauce right now. These are the pasta sauces that we have. I have had the hardest time finding this size of tomato paste. Normally we have a ton of them. There, these were I think $1.67. It's quite expensive right now. Walmart, the cheaper ones are all out. I picked some smaller ones up from Costco just so we had some. So I've left some space because we definitely need more of that. And I left some space here because I want to get some tomato sauce. I don't usually buy it, but I think it's gonna be better to have a few, you know, in case we need to cook and there's no water, or I think it might actually be cheaper in some cases. So planning to put those here. The next row is like vegetables. Again, I apologize for the lighting. So we've got some green beans, some canned corn, olives, and then we move into beans. And these are two different kinds of beans, but I just call them white beans so they go together. Kidney beans, we have one thing of um, pinto beans, refried beans, and then we have some old fashioned or like pork and beans. I need to fill this out more, that's why there's lots of space, because our goal is eventually to have a year's worth of food, um, eventually, so definitely need to do more there. Moving on, we have black beans down here. Oh goodness, that's dark. We have some pickles. We have a few cans of soup. I tried to leave a bit of space because we do need to get some soup where you just like pull the top off and cook it. We don't usually eat them, but we need to have at least one for each person, I feel like, for emergency food. So that's on the list. Some chicken broth, or what is it called? Bion? And then beef broth, chicken broth. I'm out of vegetable broth right now. I usually keep a few. And then down here is like our proteins, our meats. So we've got some bacon crumbles all the way over there. We have quite a bit of corned beef right now. We have sardines, we have tuna, and we have a little bit of salmon. Again, this is really empty because I need to fill it out. We need to get some canned ham. We need to get a lot of tuna. Usually we try to keep at least three to six months of tuna. <laughs> we. Yeah, that's like a month and a half, maybe. <laughs> we eat a lot of tuna. So um, I'm not gonna do canned chicken because I don't really like it, or I haven't found a recipe I like it in yet. Maybe I need to try some more. We need to get some more canned salmon. So that's gonna go there. Canola oil, I just didn't have anywhere else to put it, so it's there right now. So then moving on to these two shelves, 
If you notice, these shelves, everything is pushed to the front. These ones I have pushed to the front this way as well. That way the kids know to come and to take from these sides. And then when we need to put things in like shopping, we just put it in from this side and it helps with that natural rotation. So we have some chips up here right now. We have tortilla chips, we have some pretzels, we have some coconut milk, stuffing, instant potatoes. I need to work on just getting a few more. We don't usually eat these, but for emergency purposes, some breadcrumbs, some more breadcrumbs. Then we have like condiments. We've got mayo, ketchup, mustard, hot sauce, a sriracha wannabe, that's <laughs> what I call it. Salsa, we eat a lot of salsa, green salsa. The next one here, we've got ranch. If you watched my last Costco haul, um, they were on sale and we like ranch. So I have a whole bunch of those. Italian dressing, French, barbecue sauce, barbecue and rib sauce. I try to make um, barbecue sauce whenever I'm able to. So these are like backup. This is a sweet chili sauce. We have a little bit of Parmesan right now. And then this next one here, We've got some popcorn, some crackers, some granola bars, some arrowroot cookies. Um, I need to stock this up a bit more. We don't eat a ton of these foods, so I do need to get a few more though. Underneath, we've got white vinegar, some apple cider vinegar, some like Pam knockoff, and then honey. This is a giant 15 pound bucket of honey, and then there's a smaller one, and hot chocolate. And then moving on to this one here, we have cereal. I just put all the cereal, no matter, you can see what kind it is, just in one row, because we just take whatever. I had some food coloring. This was actually from a science experiment we didn't do. One thing of pancake mix. I just have one little thing of oat bran right now. Cocoa, baking cocoa, molasses, um, cornstarch, vanilla, baking powder. We have a few of these we just stocked up and I have a lot of baking soda. <laughs> you won't need any of that for a while. Um, spices, I have some here. This, we used to buy these for like 88 cents, the table salt. And when I went to buy it at Superstore, it was almost $3 for one. <laughs> so when I found them at Costco, I think it was four, about $4 for a three pack. I got a lot because <laughs> that's expensive. And I'll show you just over here. We have a clear shoe organizer for the rest of our spices. Now, I had them in alphabetical order because that just makes sense to me and it's easy to find. My son moved it for me. We originally had it hanging here and um, he didn't put things back in the right order. So I'm gonna have to go through and fix this. But these are all the spices that we currently have. And we do have a little bit of like ginger, minced ginger as well as minced garlic. These are for like longer term storage, just in case we need them. Got some gravy mix, ranch style mix, and yeah, spices. So back over here, under here we've got some raisins, some sunflower seeds, some almonds. We need to get more Crisco. We need to get more powdered milk. We just have a little bit some custard, we have this one random, I shared this last time, I still haven't used it. I need to use this. The um, Dulce de Leche, <laughs> need to use that. We have a couple of jellos, and then we have almond milk, I'm sorry, it's so dark. And yes, yeah, that's a mouse trap down there, just in case. These almond milks are cheaper, but they don't taste very good, so I use these for baking, like pancakes, waffles, things like that. We use these ones for actual like cereal, some apple juice. We recently picked these up because we had some sick kids and it's good to have a few on hand, the Gatorade. And then we have some sweetened condensed and some evaporated milk. There's currently nothing on the bottom shelf. Oh, I missed this shelf. So we've got some good yummy chocolate chips. We've got some shredded coconut. And then I have cake mixes and icing to help with birthdays for the year. So let me show you over here. So in these tubs, we, they are full. <laughs> and the reason it's kind of a mess here is because my plan is to put up, let me back a bit, two shelves, probably a foot deep over here, and to put 
the paper towel and the Kleenex on one of them. And on the top one, I'm gonna put the number 10 cans that we have. And those are over here. Because they are all very light. We've got broccoli, I think we have two carrots, green beans, potatoes. What else do we have? Yeah, onions, this is another carrot, and this one is corn. So I'm gonna put those up on that top shelf. We have some more of these coming as well. I ordered, I think it's three number 10 cans of potato flakes and three or four, I'll have to check, number 10 cans of dehydrated apple, as well as five 25 pound bags of hard red wheat kernels um, through our church. But that won't be here for about two months. So I will be integrating those into our food storage. The kernels are for um, long-term food storage. And same with the number 10 cans, pretty much long-term food storage. So I'm hoping I can put all those cans along the top and they'll be nice and organized because they're light, it's easy to put them up there. So that explains why I kind of like these are here. Um, okay, bins. So we have actually three bins of white flour. One's in here. I just set the bananas down here because it's so hot upstairs right now. It's over 30 degrees. Um, I had stocked up on white flour and then Costco, I ordered whole wheat flour from them online. It's actually a really cheap place, decently cheap to get their flour from. They sent me white flour, one of them by accident. And then I found a bunch on clearance at the store. So I have a lot of white flour right now. This one's missing the lid. So I'm still deciding if I'm going to like put some in a, uh, like the gallon, the big gallon buckets with an oxygen absorber and the, what is it, the bag and everything, I'm not sure. I would say we go through one of these a month, so I feel like we have at least six to nine, maybe 12 months worth of white flour right now. So I may do that. This is whole wheat flour, these two bins here. These are so heavy. I can't stock, stack more than two or they start to buckle. I'll give you a quick look. Whoop. So these are like the smaller bags I was able to find. In the bottom I have the big 10 kilogram from Costco. And then in the next one, I have our white sugar in these two. They're both full because again, it was on sale at Costco, so I stocked up. And then oats and rice. And they're just like the containers from the store. They're not put away any other way because it's mostly shorter term food storage for us show you inside again the lighting is so bad but this is what I mean like the packages are just in here so that's the oats we have rice underneath and then these buckets so we've got brown sugar in this one these are just a couple brown sugars I think the bottom one's empty this one is icing sugar in here and then here these are chickpeas Oh, what are these ones? They're all turned around. Let's see. Black beans. These are white beans and dal is in there as well, which are the yellow split beans. Split pea? Yellow split pea, there we go. <laughs> these ones are lentil. These ones would be pinto then. That's what I haven't said. Ooh, they're heavy. Pinto. Yeah, so I got a lot of my beans again from Costco online. They sell them in really big bags. I'll show you how I use them upstairs because I fill Ziploc bags and take them upstairs to use and then these stay closed for long periods of time. So here's a look at how I store the beans. I just keep them in plastic bags in smaller quantities. I have them all here and then um, as these empty I refill them and bring them up. I have a big tub of honey right here. I have our flour and sugar and whole wheat flour in these buckets. It's not very pretty, but it's sufficient with the gamma lids on them. And in here, I have some more right now that didn't fit in the big bins downstairs. And then because personal items are part of storage as well, um, we have like some items up here, 
you know, personal items. I've been having trouble finding that cream. Need some more soap. Kleenex, toilet paper, panty liners. So we have a stock of these items as well. So the last thing I just wanted to address is vermin. You saw that we have a mouse trap. We haven't had any mice in here. We also have a cat who comes in here. She doesn't bother any of the food, but she likes to take a sniff around sometimes. Um, I also have an ant trap in here just in case. And the way that I set the shelves up was that they're all high enough so that this room gets vacuumed and mopped once a week, every week. And so we can go fully under all the shelves and clean. Um, we just have to move the bins to get around there. We keep it as clean as possible, as open as possible. So there's no little places for things to hide. And so far we haven't had a problem. So knock on wood, hopefully we won't. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Otherwise, as always, I hope this finds you having a great day. Take care.